Oh, hi! Welcome to Joe has found herself in a bit of a pickle. I was showing you how to make a light box because I posted a video about product photography back in December. So it's been about two months, a little over two months. And a couple weeks after that, I bought the supplies to make my own light box. And now another month or so later, I have finally started to assemble it. And A, way too fucking big for this desk. And B, the fabric I bought was for a smaller setup. So I think I need to go back to the hardware store, see if I can return the bigger pieces and try not to have too much of a panic about this. It's gonna be fine. That's what I have to do is uh, find the receipt, which uh, is also why you should do projects sooner than I do them after you've bought the supplies, because if there's an issue with the materials, you can swap them out for something else. I guess this is the upside of getting the pre-cut PVC pieces. They were also more expensive because I can still return them where it wasn't like a whole length that I cut down. That would be not returnable. If I have the option to return these, I will just get a big length and then chop it down into something smaller. So yeah, let me break this down while apologizing for starting you into this part way, but I, I was filming this whole beginning section and it was just falling apart by the second. Plus, I feel like I've been in a very extra loud and obnoxious mood this morning because I am so full of coffee, even though it's very early and I like got a lot of sleep for once. <laughs> it's weird being well rested. And actually I can kind of tell that I'm better rested right now because I'd probably be in a much worse frustrated to the point of crying type state right now, realizing all of this was wrong, but it's just a matter of finding the receipt, seeing if I can still trade some of these pieces out and then just swapping it out for the correct things. And thankfully I'm trying to be a very good self-employee and I have organized all of my receipts by month, although I need a new one for the new year. But all, all my stuff is just in one, one convenient little pile for January, which is when I bought this. And what is their return policy? Oh, I got 90 days. Hell yeah. Oh, hi. Welcome to the wintry outdoors. <laughs> I uh, managed to find a big 10 foot length of the PVC I need. I did still have to stick with one inch because the adapter pieces, the only ones in that shape were the one inch ones. So I basically returned six of them and then immediately bought six more. <laughs> but yeah, it was such a like stupid price difference. So each two foot length that I had was $2.34 and I had nine of them were this. Granted, I'm doing shorter pieces, so I only needed one of these long boys. It was $3.57 for one piece. So yeah, this stupid amount of money saved with this. So yeah, I'm just gonna mark out my little measuring tape. 12 inch increments, just mark it with a Sharpie. Doesn't have to be perfect, but trying to, trying to get a cube. I'm gonna take my little coping saw and start cutting. I think because I've already fucked this up once, I'm worried about fucking it up again, but you know what? Especially because it was so much cheaper doing it this way, I'm still saving money if I go out and get more things to do, like a foot and a half. But yeah, two feet was way too big, so I think this is gonna be fine. There I was thinking to myself, maybe this is taking me longer than I thought it would. So my hands are freezing cold. Nope, it's uh, just barely above freezing. Plus it's windy as fuck outside. So I can only imagine what the wind chill is. You see how red my hands are? I'm gonna warm myself up by the wood stove for a minute and then we'll get back to it. Okay, I have recovered. I can feel my hands again. They're not angry and red. Good grief. Also, I can hear Bert losing his mind downstairs because normally when I come in the house, first thing I do is let him out, but he like heard me come up to the wood stove and is not happy with me. So let us free him from his tiny prison. Not tiny, he has a huge pen. Oh, little guy. You wanna come out? <laughs> <laughs> He'll come back, just give him a second. as he runs to the bedroom and then he comes back and he grabs a toy and then sometimes he eventually comes to snuggle me but no he's just doing laps in and out of the shop. Little Bert. Oh I think this is him yelling at me to get to work. All right back to business. So like I said while I was outside it's possible I kind of fucked up again and I should have just measured the depth of my desk before I went out because the issue before is it was too big but I definitely cut these smaller than the previous light box I used. But the things I need photos of for now, this is gonna work and this is gonna be a lot easier to like tuck out of the way. So it's definitely gonna be functional for most of the stuff I have. And then if the time comes that I have something too big for the light box, I will just buy supplies for a bigger one. And actually 
I kind of like the idea of having foot tall like legs and then have the top be wider. So I'll just have to add a couple pieces. I like the idea of it being interchangeable. So yeah, okay. I'm I'm happy with the decision I made. Ooh, also I was struggling hardcore to fit the two foot cube into frames. So this is gonna be a lot easier to show you how to build it. And then yeah, just change to scale to whatever you need. We're just gonna deal with the dog barking cause I do not have the patience to wait for that to stop. Can you tell how much of a professional operation this is? Okay, so inventory check. I have six of these pieces. I don't know what to call them. I just made sure that it fits around this. So these are all one inch pieces. So we're gonna take one piece like this add two more gear, then two more connectors. Actually, this will probably go a little easier this way. There we go. And now two more here. two more here. And yes, it's slanting down. You could complete the cube by adding two more connectors here, a piece across, and then a piece across here and here. I just didn't feel that was necessary. So the fact it's tipping down, I, I, it's fine. And now I have plenty of fabric. This wasn't even enough to cover two of the panels on the two foot section. So God, I'm so glad we figured this out. Okay, so here's where I'm at with the fabric. I was originally going to cut it and sew it so that it kind of made like a sleeve to go over this frame. But especially cause it's expensive fabric and I may make a different version down the road, but I like the idea of having this be like a versatile thing that I can swap out between different sizes. And I really like this size. I actually think this is gonna be perfect for 99% of the small things I have to take photos of. I don't need that much space for earrings and I'm, really, really pleased with how this is looking, even just with this thrown over the top. Rather than make the sleeve cover, and I'm sorry if this is me not giving a fuller instruction on how to make this, but like it's basically a no-sew project now, so you're welcome. Um, I'm just gonna clip the excess out of the way so that the edges are hanging flat. Because originally I was gonna make little tabs and add either Velcro or some snaps to it so that they would hold on to this. Once I pin these out of the way, they'll be nice. Like, you see what I mean? This isn't super crumpled up in the back and I was expecting it to look worse than this, basically. So yeah, let me grab some of my craft clips and show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna take some of these guys, hair clips, whatever you have laying around. And then yeah, rather than stitching it all together, if there's a bunch of like bagging at the side, look at how much better this is laying already. What the hell? I was thinking this is gonna be so much more complicated. Granted, there was some sizing issues, but this, this is going to do exactly what I need it to do. It doesn't have to be complicated. I'm telling you, but also myself, it doesn't have to be complicated. Fuck yeah, man. Let's give it a little test run, take some photos of the new makeup wipes that I made, see how we do. It is, it's just one of those things where you put something off because you keep building it up in your head, but the longer you put it off, the bigger the project feels and the less doable it seems. And then you get into it and it's like 10 minutes of effort, a lot of thinking, a lot of unnecessary thinking, I will add. I'm so I'm, I'm perfectly happy with this. I don't feel like I'm settling or compromising with doing this. Obviously there are much more professional and like cutting edge ways to go about this. I'm sure the amount of money I spent on fabric and the tube pieces is a little more than you would pay to get an already put together light kit on Amazon. I saw some that come with like a little LED bar at the front and you can even swap out little plastic panels to have different color backgrounds, but I have to make my own version. So yeah, I think at most, I'm just gonna surge the raw edges because obviously this is fraying a lot just to keep that a little neater. I'm like hesitant to wrap this up already because it went quickly and I'm genuinely really happy, but I almost feel like I can't be happy with how little work I just did to make this into what it is, but. I'm fucking stoked. Yeah, I don't know if this is actually helpful to any of you. I know a bunch of you have Etsy shops or even just like to post the crafts that you have made. I know for me, I feel a little self promote if I try to talk to other creators I follow about what I do. I don't want them to feel like I'm taking over their platform to like yell about my shit, but please, 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 if you make stuff, whether you sell it or not and find stuff like this useful or you don't find it useful and you just like to hang out, I appreciate all of it, please, 
send me your information, like tag me in a post on Instagram or just tell me what your Instagram handle is. I know I do follow a bunch of you, but I really want to fill my feed with like other fellow creative people. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna search these edges. I'm gonna get this back into position and then we'll do some test photos, see what this baby can do. Okay, I feel better. I have actually sewn something. So the edges are cleaned up. Let's, let's give you a better peek. I pinned all the bulk in the corner here and look how nice it's all laying. Work smarter, not harder. I have heard that so many times and never take it to heart because I'm like, no, but I learn more when I fuck things up and make more Difficult for myself, but it doesn't have to be like that. It's okay if something's easy. It's okay if something's uncomplicated. It's okay if a project you have planned doesn't take the entire day to do, even if you do run out to the store and it still doesn't take half a day. It's okay if things go smoothly for once. I think this looks pretty, pretty good. I am going to grab a white piece of cardstock just because this table is not the cleanest. Yeah, I don't know if I've shown these off in a video before, but all of these are going to be listed in my Etsy shop. That's why I'm taking the photos is to add new listings up there and just have better photos of the things because they're not very good right now. But it's all really soft flannel on one side. Thank you, Cheryl, a fabric donation she sent my way specifically to make stuff like this. And I could could not be more appreciative. It's It's been a huge help. I just got a pile of new face cloths. So it's like a nice scrubby terry cloth on the other side. So you can use like a face scrub or your toner or whatever, you know, the cleansing part and then use moisturizer or something with the other side or just makeup remover or whatever you may need wipes for. I actually use some of these on the scrubby side to rub Bert's disgusting bog of eternal stench mouth because it's very stinky and I need to scrub his teeth sometimes. I made a bunch of little drawstring bags so you can just toss them in there and wash them. I personally just toss these in my laundry bag and wash them on their own and they're fine. I searched the edges so Yes, little bits of the terry cloth may come undone because it's knit. They may get little pips here and there, but they're not going to fall apart because I stitched and searched the edges. Anyway, all right, yeah, I think that'll work. I'm also trying to keep in mind how Etsy photos work. Well, they don't really like tall photos, but wide photos go a little bit better. I don't know. I think that's pretty good. I, I know I'm not a photographer. I know there's many more things you can do with your phone. But that being said, for a noob like me needing to just have nice images of the shit I make for my Etsy shop because that it's such a big factor. Like the point of Etsy is you only have the photos to go by and a description, which I try to add a little personality to, but you can also only describe 20 different sets of makeup wipes so differently. Yeah, doing simple things like this, which as you saw was even more simple than I expected, feel like is really gonna help, at least I hope it's really gonna help make more sales basically and up my Instagram business game. I don't know if this is like boring inside baseball type shit to be talking about, but yeah, it's something you don't just learn on your own. You kind of get a workshop stuff. I would know none of this stuff and I know there's so much more for me to learn. I'm getting there. This feels like basic bare bones equipment to have in my arsenal for running an Etsy shop. It's just, it's part of having your own online business. And thankfully I have a lot of resources. A lot of you share your information with me if you sell your own stuff. Yeah, I hope, I hope this is helpful to people that make things and yeah, just wanna open up a conversation about the struggles of running an Etsy shop because it's been hard at the beginning of this year. I know January is hard for retail and everything anyways, but it is been a tight start to the year and I'm yeah, trying not to go into panic mode about it. Doing stuff like this, I hope will help getting into, uh, you know, Valentine's day is the day this is going up. Happy Valentine's day. Actually, more importantly, happy Galentine's day. I did send out, hopefully all of you have gotten them by now. I did send out some little Galentine's Day cards to everyone. That's part of my mail time perk over on Patreon. I do have an idea in the works for everyone that's been supporting me on Patreon, regardless of tier. I don't want to share it yet though, because I've realized when I tell people about an idea, sometimes that is enough of an endorphin rush that, that I don't do it. I think that's part of my trouble with follow through on here is I tell you all what I want to make and then I don't make it because I've already like gotten that high off sharing the idea. So it's not that I'm trying to be like elusive or secretive. I need to actually do the thing and then I will share it. I will say if you have ever been interested in checking out my Patreon for full transparency, I sure could use the help right now. Um, but I know that's not on any of you. That's, that's something I need to work on. I, I wouldn't be able to be as far into this as I am without my Patreon. I owe you all everything. 
I wouldn't have any of this without you, so thank you so much. I will post kind of the little sketch I did with the measurements and everything for the cube. I mean, it, it's a cube, so it's nothing like real fancy, but I'll post a little sketch. You don't have to be a patron, but it is because of my patrons that I get to post stuff like that for free. Uh, it's just a good like hub, so if you go follow my page, sometimes I post little things like that, like extra patterns or just uh, quizzes, not quizzes, voting things, polls. <laughs> like there's one still open where I'm hoping some of you will help me pick what sewing book to start next. Little things like that. I'm trying to make it almost like a blog, basically. There are certainly things that are just for patrons, but I'm trying to have things over there that just everyone can check out. Anyways, I have something cool coming to Patreon and I will tell you once it's happening. I'm up for revamping it, especially because it's a new year. So let me know if there's stuff you're looking for. And yeah, I, uh, I'm going to cruise through these photos and get these listings up and uh, then start editing this. I hope this has been helpful. It's probably just watching me have a quarter life, probably midlife crisis. And uh, I do truly appreciate you all hanging out. And I will see you back here with another video next Friday. Bless all of you that for some fucking reason keep showing up here. I deeply appreciate it. <laughs>